Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today is Sunday Fun Day, and you know what that means. Let's go have some fun. I am curious because I usually don't come to a Disney park on the weekends, and lately I've been coming on the weekdays, and they've been very nice with low crowds. So we'll see how it is today. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, and here I am about to enter the park. I'm just going to say it because it needs to be said. I'm not a fan of these Disney 100 displays at all of the four different Walt Disney World theme parks and Disney Springs. I thought the Disney 100 was just going to be celebrated at Epcot later this year. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Yes, the pass holder line is open today. Well, I'm inside of the park and as I was scanning my magic band to enter the park, a woman was screaming at this poor cast member. And I just wanna say this, I don't care what may be going on during your vacation. Never take out your frustration on any of the cast members. They just work here, they're doing their job, and they just don't get paid enough to tolerate getting screamed at by somebody. Just kind of breaks my heart. You know, today's all about fun and Sunday fun day and as soon as I entered the park, I had to see that. But let's continue. Cast members, if there's any cast members watching, thank you for being here and creating the magic. I don't think people say it enough, but without you guys, we couldn't come here to experience the magic of Disney. What's going on with this music here at the front of the park? I like it. It is such a nice day here in Central Florida, but the crowds don't look too bad here in front of the Tree of Life. However, I don't want to speak too soon. I know recently Animal Kingdom just celebrated their 25th anniversary a few weeks ago. I was not here because I'm just going to be transparent here. I knew I was going to be disappointed because in the latest anniversaries here at Disney, they don't really do much here at Walt Disney World. They do a lot over in Disneyland. I never understood why we don't really get the fancy celebrations here at WDW, but it is what it is. I know there was a little ceremony here at the front of the park, and then you got the special 25th anniversary park maps. Other than that, there really wasn't anything going on, so I don't feel bad missing the anniversary. Instead, I'm here today to celebrate on my Sunday fun day. Let's go ahead and get the party started here at Nomad Lounge. I'm going to grab myself a drink and then go about my day. Here's a tip for any of you who are visiting here and want a adult beverage. You don't need a reservation to enter Nomad Lounge. You can get a reservation to sit down or you can wait because the bar is first come first serve or you can just walk up to the bar and order yourself a drink and then go about your day like I'm doing. I ordered myself a old fashioned, but this time I got it with the Knob Creek Disney Select. I like this stuff, it's pretty good. In my own personal opinion here, I do believe Nomad Lounge is the best bar here inside of this park to order any adult beverage just because nothing is pre-made or pre-mixed. You have some of the best bartenders working inside of that lounge. And let's be real, if you tip them well, they will treat you well right back. Most of the time they will give you a heavy hand so they will add just a little bit more alcohol because you know these drinks are not cheap here at Disney and it's just a nice place to chill, relax, and get away from the crowds. Oh, you're sold out of the Pumba popcorn bucket? Yeah, the last couple of days. We're getting more in this coming week, they say. Was this for the anniversary, the 25th anniversary? No, well, kind of. Kind of. Uh, Pumba came out on, came out on uh, Earth Day. Okay. Which was our 25th anniversary. Got gotcha. you. And this guy was supposed to come with Pumba, but he was on a boat somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Check out this new Timon sipper. How much is Timon? You know off the top of your head? $18 with a water and $19.25 with a silver Not too bad. Thank you so much. I wanted to walk through the Tree of Life garden here, but the pathway is blocked off. Looks like they are doing some work on this walkway. And this is a very nice, unique way to get yourself to the other side of the park because this is like a hidden pathway 
that will take you right in front of the Tree of Life and you can have some fantastic photos, but it's closed today. I know I say this just about every single time I'm here vlogging Animal Kingdom. I just absolutely love this theme park. There's not another theme park like this anywhere else in the world. I just love the vibe here. I love the feeling it gives you. Then there's the Tree of Life. Look at that. Wow. Feels good to be here today. It really does. Oh, there's Goofy and Pluto. I'm now here at the Harambe Theater because I want to see Festival of the Lion King today. Here are the show times. It's just about 1 p.m. So it looks like the next show time is 2 or maybe I'll come back at 3. Okay, let's hop on Kilimanjaro Safari. Standby has a 60 minute wait right now. I do have a lightning lane and I'm going to finish my beverage inside of the queue line. This was just about a walk on for me. And away we go. Black rhino is the smaller of the two different kinds of rhinos here on the reserve. However, it's still the biggest animal in the Little Itari Forest, weighing in at about 3,000 pounds. Wow. And the hippos even sleep in the water, since they can hold their breath for about eight minutes Whoa. at a time. We're almost in the splash zone there. <laughs> now, although the painted dogs are super adorable, taking a little afternoon nap there, don't let the cuteness fool ya. They are excellent hunters. Those are the horns of the Ann Coley cattle. They're known for their horns, which can measure up to six feet from tip to tip. Now, a group of giraffes is called a tower, which again is pretty fitting given their height. Now, the female giraffes do give birth standing up, so the first thing that baby giraffes experience is a six foot drop into the world. African elephants have prominent blood vessels behind their ears, which act as a cooling system. You might notice them using their prehensile trunks to enjoy some food. So prehensile just means finger-like. For the elephants, it means that they can bend and stretch their trunks in any direction that they choose. Sometimes they also will use their trunks to drink and to splash mud or water. Now we know that flamingos are pink, right? But when they're born, they are instead a light grayish color. So as we pass by this Mickey-shaped island, if you notice any flamingos with a light gray color on their heads or even on their legs, those are the baby flamingos. They're also called flamingoes. There's Disney Africa. ducks. Ostriches are the largest birds in the world. They're taking now they can a fly, bird bath right but they now. can reach top speeds at roughly 40 miles per hour. This makes them the fastest animal on only two legs. Oh, there's no lions today. You can just barely see her head there as she takes that cat nap. That is as big as they will get. Looks like some of them are kind of headbutting there. Totally normal part of their behavior. These Nigerian dwarf goats are very social and playful creatures. They can often be seen kind of chasing each other around or headbutting. It helps them to mentally develop and to establish dominance within their groups. So instead, we much prefer to say kwa herini, which means to go well. So kwa herini, friends, go well, go wild. Once again, my name is Rachel. I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. And thank you for joining me here at Kilimanjaro Safaris. That was a fun time on Kilimanjaro Safaris. The last few times I've been here, when I've had a lightning lane to ride Kilimanjaro Safaris, the lightning lane queue was very backed up along with the standby queue and today was a breeze so i'm glad that i was able to ride today we had a really good safari guide i learned two things well one and a half things because i always knew lions could see better at night the first lions can see up to six times better at nighttime that's why they sleep 19 to 20 hours a day because they're active at nighttime i knew that part and then i did not know a giraffe's heart could weigh up to 25 pounds that is 
a crazy fact. I did not know their hearts weighed that much. It was great. Also, adults, if you're here at Animal Kingdom, if you want something fun to do only for adults, grab yourself an adult beverage, drink it, then go ride Kilimanjaro Safaris. Thank me later. It was a good time. I think my new game plan, I'm going to catch the three o'clock Festival of the Lion King performance. And now I'm going to go ride a few other attractions that I have lightning lanes for and just see what else we can get into. Maybe stop by the Moana meet and greets. I doubt the line is short, but we'll see. I'm heading over to Discovery Island. Right in front of me, you have the Mickey and Minnie Adventures Outpost meet and greet. And then I believe the Moana meet and greet isn't too far away from this point. Okay, right in front of me, you have the entrance to Dino Lane USA. And then to my left, you have Flame Tree Barbecue, a quick service restaurant. And then right here by the bathrooms is the new Moana meet and greet location. And this is where you used to be able to meet Pocahontas at. There are the restrooms and then right over here is the new Moana meet and greet area. There's the sign. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to meet her today. The line is pretty long. Next time though. Now from my understanding, the new Moana meet and greet is a permanent thing. This is not just a seasonal meet and greet. You're going to be able to meet Moana throughout the year. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm passing by Dino Bite Snacks and look at this new treat, at least to my knowledge, this Dino Dig ice cream sandwich. This looks and sounds amazing. I really want this. We come here. I really do. <laughs> but I'm on a little bit of a diet, so I have to watch what I eat because we have a big trip coming up. But this, this looks good. I will be back for this. Next up, let's go get that dino. I'm really second guessing myself right now because I truly, really want that new ice cream sandwich because it looked delicious. Hello there. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist if I do say so myself. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. Those locked coordinates. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out of the asteroid hit. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? It's Dibacosaurus. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! That was a good time. Let me tell you, that is a wild attraction. I don't know if it's because I just had that adult beverage, but I felt like if it wasn't for that seatbelt, it was going to throw me out of the ride vehicle. It is wild, but it is very fun. It is a classic. However, I do prefer Indiana Jones over at Disneyland compared to Dinosaur here at Animal Kingdom. If you guys did not know, they both share the exact same ride layout. So both attractions are pretty much identical. Again, I am passing by Dino Bite Snacks. I'm debating. I really want that ice cream, but if I really wanted that ice cream, I could go get it, but I would have to sacrifice my dinner as far as calories and such. It's not easy being on a health journey, but you have to be motivated. You have to remember your goals. So I'm not going to sacrifice my dinner in order to go get that ice cream sandwich. But the next time I am here, hold me to it. Hopefully it's still here though. This empty lot is still sitting. I have no idea what Disney is waiting for. Again, the rumor is either Indiana Jones, but I really don't think Indiana Jones is happening at this point. But the newest rumor, and this is coming from Disney at last year's D23 event, 
possibly a Moana attraction or a Zootopia land and attraction. I think I have enough time to go have a ride on Expedition Everest for my next lightning lane. And as of right now, this is my last lightning lane for today, unless I make another one. I'm just cutting it close because it's about 2.30 and I want to catch the next festival of the Lion King show, which is at 3 p.m. Let's take the risk. Oh, nice. Right now, the standby line only has a 25 minute wait. Let's go. Look at that, it's only 2.34, well 2.35 now. I still have plenty of time to make my way over to Festival of the Lion King. I love the soft serve ice cream from this food truck here inside of Animal Kingdom. It's calling my name, I'm just in a mood for ice cream. I'm not going to do it. But when I'm on this vacation, I'm going to have so many ice cream cones. I do want to point out, this is why I always enjoy coming to the parks with Bianca, my fiance, because we can split everything and we can still be in our calorie zone. But when I'm here at the parks alone, I don't have Bianca to split everything with. So it's a little bit harder as far as dieting, coming to the parks and trying to get snacks and such. Really enjoyed that old fashioned. I have been debating if I should go grab another, but it's just what you gotta do when you're on a health journey and you're sticking to it. But now I am heading over to Harambe Theater to watch Festival of the Lion King at 3 p.m. Whoa, check this out. It's Simba, it's made out of the flowers that have fallen here. I have made it inside of the theater, and I will say, I feel like I got a pretty good spot. Welcome. Welcome. Each of us will help lead one of the four animal sections. Let's see. I'll take the elephants. I'll take the giraffes. I'll take the lions. I think I hear them coming. Wonderful, right on time. On the count of three, let's use those sounds to call them in. All together now. One, One two, two, three. <laughs> Everyone, listen.
present to you His Majesty, the Lion King. Welcome, everyone. Maestro, if you please. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Tumble Monkeys! Something tells me this ain't the floor show. It's a time for joyous celebration. It's time to kick off our celebration finale. Sounds great, Simba. Yeah. Let's have a party. Come on, everybody. It feels so good outside today, but I love Festival of the Lion King. That is such a fantastic show. The performers are awesome. You know, the Lion King for me reminds me of my childhood between the Lion King and Toy Story. That is all me. I loved the Lion King. I love Toy Story. I wish they would have a Toy Story theater show. That would be pretty cool. But now I'm going to walk through Pandora check out some of the gift shops, see if I can find any new merchandise, and then I think I'm going to call it a day. I just absolutely love Pandora, the world of Avatar. I have been hearing an expansion is coming sometime soonish in the next three to five years. We'll see if they announce anything, but I mean, just look at this place with the floating mountains up top. Unbelievable. But right now, Flight of Passage has an 80-minute standby wait. Not too bad, but I do think I'm going to skip it for today. I do think that Disney and the Walt Disney Imagineers, they do have some pretty awesome plans for the future with expansions and future rides and experiences. However, I know the Walt Disney Company right now, they don't have a lot of money because, like I've been saying, all of their money that they are making from the parks are going to the studio side to try to make up for lost money on the studio side so the parks right now they aren't really getting too much attention so i really hope that changes here in the next year or so i hope they can get caught up that way we can get these new experiences here at the domestic theme parks plus the company right now is gearing up for their battle against the florida governor in court i'm not going to get into it because i don't talk politics here on the channel but i'm sure that's where a lot of their time and money is going towards right now. I just can't wait for all of this drama and all of this pandemic and the studio side of things. I just want all of those factors to be fixed. That way we can expect some new experiences here at the parks because I just feel like 
it's lacking. They gave us Tron, finally. They gave us Cosmic Rewind. I think that's pretty much it for the next few years. I hope I'm wrong, but I just feel like it's going to be a few years until we get back on track here. Looks like they have a new Lion King Spirit jersey. Here's the back with the gang. I do like the red. And then here's the front. And this is no price on it. I think it's $79.99. And then the new Lion King ears. There's a hat, some drums over there, a figure set, a hat, and some plushes. Yes, those spirit jerseys are 80 bucks. And then over here, I do like this shirt with Timon and Pumbaa. And this one is $39.99. Okay, let's quickly walk through Discovery Trading Company before heading out. Ooh, even a few weeks later, they still have some of the 25th anniversary merchandise, like this spirit jersey. This is a cool button up with the animals throughout the print there. They have this bag. It is a Disney Parks Lounge Fly backpack and a magnet for the fridge. It looks like they still have quite a bit left in stock for the anniversary. There's those button ups. This one's cool. And then what is this? I have no idea what this box thing is, but it's neat. Oh, it, it lights up, it looks like. This is $45. And then they have a hat for the anniversary. Oh my goodness, look at this lounge flight backpack. It's the new Little Mermaid with Ursula. That's nice. And then new arrival, this just in. We have a cartoon print of Mickey and Minnie. There's two different sizes in this print and this backpack is $88. I found two new shirts, the sword and the stone. And then this one says, oh, happy day. I really want this Dapper Dan's t-shirt. There's a new Lego castle for the Disney 100. This is $100. They have this new I love you forever doll line with the Disney princesses here. They are $30 each. Don't forget Mother's Day is coming up very quickly here and they have some items out on display that would make pretty good gifts for mom. There's some characters passing by us right now as I'm wrapping up today's video, but on the walk to this spot, something crazy happened and I was just talking with some folks that was walking near me. This guy walked directly into a woman pushing a stroller and water spilt on the kid and they just looked at each other like, and then just kept walking. Kind of confused because that was pretty rude and we were just looking at each other like, did that really just happen? Anyways, what a awesome Sunday fun day that I had here. <laughs> I've seen some crazy stuff today here inside of Animal Kingdom, by the way. I'm not telling you guys everything, but a lot has happened today. I don't know what's in the air, but it was very fun. It was a great Sunday fun day just getting to come here. I got my old fashioned from Nomad Lounge. I got to enjoy that. Got to ride some rides, really enjoyed Kilimanjaro safaris. Got to ride Dinosaur with Expedition Everest. Got to watch the Festival of the Lion King show. Really enjoyed that. And then I got to show you some new merchandise inside some of the gift shops here. Great day. I just love this park. I love coming here on like Sundays. There's just nothing like coming to Animal Kingdom on a Sunday and having Sunday fun day. But trust me, again, get yourself an adult beverage, go ride Kilimanjaro Safaris, and thank me later because it was a lot more enjoyable than normal just having that drink beforehand. By the way, Disney Genie Plus was going for $20 per person today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. Yes, I am still thinking about that dino ice cream sandwich. <laughs> next time.